Water quality scientist Dr. Laura Johnson is not surprised by the water crisis in Toledo, saying it was only a matter of time. It seemed like it was a bit inevitable that this was going to happen, that the drinking water was going to be affected at some point. That's because Dr. Johnson says late summer algal blooms have become an almost annual event in western Lake Erie. And she added an element the algae needs to grow has been showing up in higher numbers in the Maumee River, which feeds into Lake Erie. The past 20 years or so, we've been seeing pretty sharp increases in dissolved phosphorus. So it, it appears that these, in, these blooms are really highly related to dissolved phosphorus. Dr. Johnson says the majority of the dissolved phosphorus in the Maumee River and Lake Erie can be traced to agricultural fertilizer and the way it's applied to the soil. Fertilizer tends to be broadcast on the surface of, of farm fields, and I think that that's part of our issue. We're not getting that fertilizer into the soil and mixing really well with the soil like we used to back in the, in the early 80s. But the situation is not hopeless. Dr. Johnson says scientists are encouraging area farmers to use the technique known as the four R's. And you want to apply them in the right source, the right rate, the right place, and the right time. So just making sure you're applying the right type of fertilizer at the right amount so you get your soil tested so you know how much is there um, at the right, um, in the right place. So we're saying if you can get it into the soil a little bit, then there's less likely you're going to have surface runoff. Um, and at the right time, so as close to planting as possible. And Dr. Johnson says most farmers she's worked with are open to the new recommendations. They don't want to be the cause of the problem. And, you know, farmers consider themselves stewards of the land, and so they want to do what's right. Um, I think that the issue that we have is making sure that we're giving very clear guidelines as to what can be done to help and getting it to the people who can, can do the work.